guys, it's Liz here and today I'm back with a brand new video and this week's video is actually going to be my back to school clothing haul. Um, I have a little bit more than just clothing. I have some shoes, I have some like beauty products, some other things. I'm super excited to be getting this video out for you guys because it's definitely been collecting for a while. Um, before we get into it, just make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on the little notification bell, and make sure you just follow me on all my social media because I'm mostly on those before I'm on YouTube. Um, my Instagram and my Twitter are linked down below, and my Snapchat as well will be linked down there. And anything else that I have that I will put down there for you guys will be down there. I have a Pinterest, I have whole, all kinds of things. So yeah, that is um, it for my intro. So let's just get into it. If you're looking at me, the first thing you're gonna notice is I got an Apple Watch. Um, I bought this last week at the Walmart up in Kentucky because I was driving there for cheer and I broke my Fitbit about a week and a half ago at Orange Beach in Alabama. You, if you watched my last video, you would have seen it. Well, I didn't show my broken Fitbit, but I did a Orange Beach travel diary. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely watch that video after you watch this one. Anyways, as I was saying, I broke my Fitbit there. So, um, I definitely like my Fitbit, but to buy a Fitbit that was the same exact one as I already had, it was $150 and this, um, Apple Watch is on sale for $200. So I figured why wouldn't I just spend an extra $50 and get an Apple Watch that connects to my phone that shows me text messages that's like super detailed and a little bit better than the, um, Fitbit that I already had. So that's how I got an Apple Watch. I really like it. I just have the white band. Um, this is the series three, it's 38 millimeters and it's got GPS on it. So yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys the shoes that I got next. The first pair of shoes I have are these plain white slip on bands. I've been wanting these for probably, I would say a couple months now, like at least like maybe six months or so, like maybe a little less than that. Um, I really like how they, like how they look on, like with cute outfits, they look really cute. And since I'm going to college, I need more like going out shoes. I have like a lot of like, I have Crocs, I have a lot of pairs of Crocs, I have a lot of pairs of like flip flops and running sneakers and you know, shoes like that. I have heels, but like, am I really gonna wanna go out in heels? Probably not. So I just got these to wear to school and to wear just around and chilling. So the next shoes I got were some white Crocs. I have been wanting white Crocs. And if you can tell, I've already gotten them dirty because I wore them to the beach last week, but um, I need to clean them. Anyways, I have like, this, I think this is my fifth pair of Crocs and I am obsessed with Crocs. I really don't know why, because I used to hate them. I used to think they were so ugly, but as soon as you put your feet in them and you're like, dang, these are really nice. So that's how I got them. I have, um, these ones are my newest ones. I needed ones that would match my school colors because my school colors are red, black, and white. So I have black ones and I wanted either red ones or white ones, but I just decided to buy these ones first. Um, also the vans that I just showed you and these were on sale. I went to Rack Room Shoes in Clarksville, Tennessee and it was buy one get one 50 percent off so the shoe the vans were 50 and the crocs were 40 but i got the crocs for 40 or for half off so they ended up only being 20. so i paid like 75 dollars with tax um for both pairs of shoes which is a really good deal if you've ever bought crocs or vans before <laughs> the next thing i have is some shampoo and conditioner and i actually just bought these online off of amazon they are the Wow Skin Science. This is the apple cider vinegar shampoo. And this is the just um, organic virgin coconut oil and avocado oil hair conditioner. This one smells like apples and this one smells like coconut. And those are literally like one of my two favorite scents. Like coconut is like my favorite scent, but I love the smell of apples too. So um, these are, I bought these because I took an online quiz about like two weeks ago. And, it, and like it was basically saying like what to do to make your hair better and to like how to make you have healthier hair and I took a quiz I put in all my hair's problems like curly frizzy color treated all kinds of stuff and um it came, basically gave me a couple products that it said this would be really good for your hair so it told me that um products that have no um sulfates that have no parabens that are as much like organic as you can get are like the perfect like perfect for my hair just because it's already color treated, it's already got chemicals, it's curly, so it's like prone to dryness and anyways, so 
when I went on the website after I took the quiz, it came up with like a bunch of products that you, it was like, you might like these. So the first one on there was this shampoo and this conditioner. So naturally I bought them because I really wanted to see if it would actually do to my hair what it says it would do. And so far, I would say I really like these. Okay, so this is the first thing I got. This is from American Eagle. It's just this mint ribbed tank top. I got this in a size medium, which is like what most of my clothes are is a medium. Um, I mean, it's really cute. It's like not super tight. So, and the material is very, very comfortable. So I really like that. And I'm pretty sure it was on sale, but honestly, if I can find the prices and the links to everything, I will definitely link everything down below and I'll put the prices on the screen somewhere. So you'll see it. The next thing I have is this cute yellow tie dye crop top. Um, this is from Target. I think it was on, I bought it for like $13. Um, it just says Aloha and it's got a little flower. It's just cropped a basic nice crop t-shirt you can never go wrong with those the next thing i have is this really pretty mauve colored halter top um it's it's a size small i want to say um but yes this is a size small this one is from american eagle and i really like the look of halter tops right now i'm not really sure why but i also love this color like this color and then any of the shades of this color are super pretty to me I just love them. The next thing I got was this army green um, cropped tube top. It's just ribbed. It's from American Eagle. It's a size medium, I think. Um, yeah, it's a size medium. I wore this yesterday to the mall, so it's dirty, but <laughs> wanted to show you guys. The next thing I have is just the same crop top, but uh, the same tube top, but just, just black and white stripes, size medium from American Eagle on sale. The next thing I have, I've worn these like 50,000 times already because these are literally the most comfortable things already. I love them so much. Um, these are just some plain gray like shorts. I got these from Aerie. These weren't on sale. I bought them for full price so they were $30 but honestly these were probably one of the best buys I've ever gotten just because they're simply so comfortable and they literally go with everything. Like I could, I could basically wear them with any shirt I just showed you so I love that. Um, the only thing is, like, I've washed these a couple times now, and, like, the band, like, sort of came out of place in the top, so you get, kind of just have to, like, fix it or just let it be if you really don't care. But these also make your butt look really nice, so. I also got these in a medium. The next thing I got from American Eagle are these jeans. I bought these yesterday. Just look like this. They are the high-rise jegging regular these are a size 8, which I don't normally get size 8, but um, I gained a little weight this summer, which I'm not exactly proud of, but I will admit it to you guys. So I the 6s fit me like fine, and that's my normal size, but I kind of wanted to size up just because, I, because my thighs are so thick that the rips in these jeans looked like my thighs were coming out of them. Like, I, I, I'm sure some of you guys know what I mean, but... Like, I put them on, and it looked like it was, like, squeezing my legs, so I didn't really like that. So I went to size up, and these fit me perfectly. They're just dark blue, and they're ripped. And I figured that these would be really good for going out because I don't have a lot of skinny jeans. I don't really like skinny jeans, but those ones feel really nice on, so that's how I bought those ones. I also got these. These are so cute. These are also in a size 8. These are mom jeans, and they're just really, 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 really distressed. Like, the entire pant is basically distressed. Um, these ones, also, I could have gone with a six, but again, with the same thing, I just kind of felt like um, I could do with the upper size just to make it so it's not, like, squeezing my fat on my stomach, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I really, really like these jeans. So, these jeans are originally $70, and the these, these ones are um 60 and it was buy one get one half off so i think i paid a hundred dollars for both of these jeans which equals out to about 50 dollars a pair of jeans which is like basically what you expect buying some nice jeans especially from american eagle because most of their jeans are 60 dollars between 50 and 60 dollars so um i figured that's probably that's a really good deal to get two pairs of really nice jeans and i love mom jeans like i really do so i'm excited about these these are super cute so the next thing I have is this black Kelvin Klein sports bra. I just bought this like about a month ago. I don't have, I really liked the look of these and I'd never had one. So I bought it. They're normally, uh, they're normally like $30 and I got it for 
18 so it's a steal the next store i got stuff from was rue 21 and they had their buy one get one free sale a couple weeks ago so i got these yellow shorts and then i also got the same shorts but in army green if you couldn't tell army green and yellow have been my colors this summer don't really know why but they go in for me so the next thing i got was this shirt and this is from hollister this is like the only thing i got from hollister i got it in a size large even though i would normally wear like a medium or small because i really like the look of big t-shirts and it's just tie-dye i got these burnt orange running shorts from dix i think they were 30 dollars or 35 dollars, but i love them i've been wearing them like it's no one's business love me some cute running shorts you'll see a trend the next um so i went to the nike store yesterday i just got this sports bra it's just like an orange kind of like tan weird color but you could never go wrong with a sports bra because literally it was on sale for 25 dollars, and i'm pretty sure it was 30 percent off also i can look at the receipt but yeah it's pretty nice um also i got the sports bra and the shorts are in a size medium so these, I got these also, these are just some really pretty baby blue running shorts. These are in a size small because they didn't have a medium, but they're stretchy. So I feel like they'll fit me and I just really liked this color and I really wanted them. And these were on sale for 25 also. I'm not sure if they were 30% off or not, but they're literally so cute. That's why I wanted them. So I'm obsessed with these. And then the last thing I got from Nike were these black running shorts. And I'm pretty sure these were $30 originally. Um, I got these in a size medium. Just look like this. It's like they're plain black, but they have like a pattern on them. And then the back has a little bit of a zipper. And there's a pocket on the inside as well. So love that for me. The next store I went to was Victoria's Secret. And as you guys know, last month they had their semi-annual sale. So the very first thing I got was this gray tank top it just says vs and like ombre and this i so on the thing it said it was i want to say ten dollars and apparently it was 60 percent off so i got it for 3.95 ladies and gentlemen i got a t-shirt i got a tank top from victoria's secret for four dollars i was literally i didn't even know it was gonna cost that less like i thought it was gonna be like 10 bucks or something no she said 3.95 and i was like whoa so yes that's what i got and then i also got these really nice just plain like gray sleep pants they're really thin they're like that really nice like pajama material and these are in a size medium i'm pretty sure these were like 10 15 dollars so that's really good and then they just like cinch at the bottom so it's really nice they're good for sleeping in or just like chilling out in. and you know i love me a good victoria's secret sale so had to cop and the last clothing store i went to was tilly i really don't buy much from there but um i just had to because i haven't been to tilly since i lived in new york and it's been a while and i love it there so the first thing i got is this really pretty mauve pink tube top as you couldn't tell i love me a tube top i also got this yellow tube top I also these are literally like two of my favorite colors right now um i also got these i think these are boyfriend jeans yeah these are size five so i just have to make sure they fit me but they look like they will so i'm not gonna like i'm gonna try them on after this but um yeah so just light wash mom jeans or boyfriend jeans these were 40 dollars. i'm pretty sure i paid like 60 for everything maybe maybe less i can't remember um but yes and then the last clothing thing i have is from we went when we went to the beach um we went to ron john and i really wanted a shirt they didn't have anything smaller than a large so i had to get this shirt in a large but honestly it's okay because i like my shirts really big but it's just this really pretty um like dark red mauve dark mauve color and then the back just says ron john orange beach you know the deep. this is all the stuff i have that's not clothing so i have a lot of stuff in here because it's literally not just bath and body works i have this from sephora this is the urban k all-nighter long lasting makeup setting spray i got this because i 
I got this because I ran out of my um, Too Faced one that I was using. I used it as primer and then I used, I would use my um, MAC Fix Plus as my setting spray, but I needed a new setting spray because I could use my MAC Fix Plus as my primer also. So that's why I got this. And then from Lush, I also got a, um, I got this, but I also had a bath bomb, but I already used it. I think it was in, it's that white one. I forget what it's called, but that one's really nice. It smells really good. I got this scrub, 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 shower scrub. It's like, um, sea salt, charcoal, and black, juicy blackberry puree. It smells so good. I've been using this mainly on my face. And I've noticed a huge difference in, my, difference in my skin. Like when I don't use this, I break out immediately. But if I use this on my skin when I'm in the shower, after I wash my face, it makes my skin so smooth, so fresh, so clean the next day. So 10 out of 10 recommend, even though it's like $30, but it's amazing. Okay, so everything else that I have is from Bath & Body Works. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot about this. I had to buy an eyelash curler. This is from e.l.f. It was like $3 because I threw my old eyelash curler away because it was, yeah. Okay, so basically I have tons of stuff from Bath & Body Works. I'm just gonna show you guys everything I have, even though they're different trips and whatever. I'll just show you what I have. So the first thing I have is the Pretty as a Peach Fragrance Mist. This is just the travel size, it smells really good. I also have the In The Stars 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream in the travel size. This also smells really good. And then I also have the uh, 1000 Wishes 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. Um, smells really good too, clearly. And then I also got this um, At The Beach 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. This is my favorite scent ever. Oops. This smells so good. I put it on my body usually after I shower. And bro, you can smell this junk for like two days. I also have it in the spray. Best combo ever. And then um, I also got a Mentha Shimmer Tint Lip Gloss. And then I got three um, hand soaps for my dorm room. This is Stress Relief. This is Mango Mai Tai. And this is Honolulu Sun. Clearly, I love the smell of coconuts because literally, except for stress relief, I usually buy coconut smelling things. I also got three new car scents because I have a little Bath & Body Works car scent in my car. I got Watermelon Lemonade, Mango Mai Tai, clearly I like the scent, and Wakiki Beach Coconut. I love the smell of the beach, if you couldn't tell. The very last thing I got is some new hand sanitizers. I got these, obviously, from Bath & Body Works. I got another one, but um, I don't know where it is, so yeah. First one I got is Strawberry Lemonade. I got At The Beach, A Thousand Wishes. I also clearly like the scent, and Stress Relief. So if you couldn't tell, there's like, I like a few things and they all buy them all the same. So that is everything I have for my haul today. Um, I really don't think I'll be buying anything more, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm planning on doing a college move-in, like setting up my dorm type of thing. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely leave this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the like, the like button, the subscribe button, the notification button, all down below. And leave a comment if you guys have any video requests for me to do in the future. And yeah, that is everything I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.